In this video, we're gonna do a plein air painting, a really tiny plein air painting. You'll also see a cute dog and a fun trip to the library. But first, an epic driving montage. I just picked up a copy of James Gurney's Color and Light from the library. I've read it before and um, really loved it. And one of the things I wanna do is go back through and look at certain paintings that he's done and use that to do some master copies or just try to learn some good techniques. One of the things that I find really valuable is he often lists the size of the paintings and the specific palette he uses and so I feel like that is a very valuable thing in terms of being able to do master copies. The other book that I got, um, I started and then had to return it, um, A Distant Mirror. This book is a history of the 14th century and um, it's super interesting and fascinating and talking about the feudal system and kings and knights, but also talking about the Black Plague and the role that that had just globally and societally and um, kind of a slow read for me and I'm reading a bunch of other books too so that's why I got it on CD and maybe I'll like listen to it in the car a little bit when I drive so yeah enjoying that. I don't know why but just going to plein air paint feels so daunting to I've, I've scouted the location, I've been getting my stuff ready, but just the more that I am trying to do this, the more that I feel that I don't have time to do it and it's not gonna be good. And I just have this self-critical voice in my head. And on, honestly, I just, I feel super overwhelmed. Like it's not worth doing and that I can't possibly get it done. I think I'm just going to paint this view out my window. I've never taken Harry, my dog, plenty of painting and I'm looking at the time and I'm feeling the time crunch 
I don't feel like painting right now, but it's something that I want to do. I know that it's something I want to do. And let's just cross that barrier. Let's just put paint down and just get it done. Well, it was paint on a page. Uh, it was vaguely fun. I mean, I felt my brain kind of working through some of those old problems of uh, color temperature and uh, total value. And because it was so small and honestly in a way because I wasn't expecting it to be good, I was kind of able to just go through the motions and, and I it's almost like, oh yeah, I've lifted this weight before. So I was starting to feel uh, parts of my brain turn on that haven't been turned on for a while. and. Yeah, it's okay. It, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let's try the next one. So why should you paint tiny? Well, for one reason, it helps you get it done a lot faster. You don't have to spend a super long time working on the painting. You can get it done really fast, which allows you to experiment. In this one, I was experimenting with a limited palette with acrylic paint. Um, you can experiment with composition. So all those things are really helpful to get done really quickly. The other thing it's really good for is being able to potentially sell your painting for a reduced price because it's so small. So if you're trying to break in or sell more paintings or get started with that or just have something that's offered up to people that's not as pricey as maybe a bigger piece, doing something really small is really useful. Just for comparison, like here's my thumb next to the painting. So literally thumbnail. <laughs> Perfect.